mode. We go into the pop shop. The pop shop is everything and anything we need. So now we're going to find Synaptic Package Manager. All you need to do is open and then you will see this Synaptic Package Manager. All you need to do is search for game mode. And in game mode, it's exactly the same as how you do apt-get, but instead of typing the code, you just mark for installation and mark for everything, whatever it says, just do it. Then apply and it will start to install. So now I've installed the game mode and all the add-ons. So if you do not know the code to remove this app, you can just go inside here and mark for complete removal. And again, you can just apply it and it's done. So it will start removing. But if I don't apply it, I just close it and just quit. So nothing will happen after doing that. Now, the problem is when you install and you play any games, you will not know or have any notification that it is started. So if I were to go into Steam now, go into the games you want, the game mode to run, then you right click on the game you want, properties, add, go to general, and then go into the launch options and type in this code. So once you type in this code, you just press play and the game mode should run. Now, the problem with this is there is no indication whether the game mode is running or not. So yeah, you may be just doing it blindly. Now, how to do this is go into Firefox, type in genome extensions. Then inside here, go to genome shell extensions. Inside here, you will see a banner on the top. Install it. Once you install it, at the top right, you can see a feet or foot, if you call it, the black foot. So just click on it. Once you've done installing it, you can close the previous one. And then go and type in game mode on the search bar. Go into game mode and turn this on. Now, the purpose of this is just to create an indication of game mode. So once you turn it on, if I refresh it now, you would see these tools, a kind of settings over here. Click on this and you can see notification, turn it on, always show the icon, turn it on, and active icon list, turn it on, so that it will change color to green. So if you see the top right here, so if you click on it, it shows game mode is off. Right now, when it's on, it will go to green. If it's not, it will go to gray. So simple. So let's close this. Let's close this. And now let's go in a fistful of frags and play. Now you see, game mode is active. You're optimized for gaming. So this is what I want to see. So you're not blindsided when you're playing and then you're thinking, I'm actually on game mode, but it's so slow. So let's test it out. Right, so if I punch this, two, boom, pa, pata, patu, pata, patu, yeah. So anyway, game mode, it's supposed to make your game a little bit faster than before, or at least playable than before. Now, instead of doing the command, as I said before, you go into this, right click, map properties, and add in here. Now. Instead of doing that, go into main menu, inside main menu, go into games, steam, properties, and put inside game mode run. Alright, so once you've done this game mode run, then you press OK, but the problem is on the steam here in the start menu it's kind of weird that it is separated so if i'm going to show you right now if i click steam here 
the game mode will not run. See that game mode doesn't run because I suspect that main menu and the apps are not linked together, unlike Zorin OS. But if I were to go to properties and I were to copy the whole thing, go into the terminal and paste inside here exact thing and enter game mode is activated so kind of weird pop os should actually integrate main menu in because it's really really important because main menu does is it gives you the ability to search the command for all the apps it gives you the ability to you know configure this to be more easy you don't have to find it and it gives you the ability to copy this into your startup apps so i'm going to show you right now it is on green it does work so if i were to go in library and play everything is under game mode if i were to go let's say unturn and play everything is just running game mode to show you that I have not changed any code in the command option, so let's go back. And then if I right click and see properties, launch options is not there. Remember to find the background of Steam or any other apps that is running game mode and exit out so that it will close game booster. Right, so you just need to wait and then it will say it's off. It is why I want the indicator to be there. Right, so now let's go into Lutris. Inside Lutris, let's see do we need to do anything or will it auto detect the game? Okay, it doesn't detect. Now I have no uh, code inside. You're supposed to put into the command prefix something over here but I am not going to put inside anything we're going to configure here there is nothing different about here command prefix there's nothing okay so now if I were to open this let's see will game mode run and it does run look at that game mode auto detects epic by default you don't need to input any command in anything okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to play crying Sun and let's see will it run this time if you see my previous video my crying Sun's game straight up crash and there you have it game mode does work it doesn't crash now remember to like subscribe and share Below is my previous videos, to the center is my other videos, and to the side of it is my playlist of my previous and future videos that is to come. <laughs> so check that out, and thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Ramers signing out. Bye.